game we have the Russians against the Germans and we are starting our deployment zone we have got three objectives set at the beginning which is one over here one in the center placed by the defender and a final one on the right flank and now we are going on to deployment zone but before we do that we'll go through the different armies okay so this is my Führer Belgaid 1750 lists uh, these are my command squads. My 2IC is in a 2CM. And then I have a NEB squad, 8 RADs as my recon. I don't know why they only have that. I have 3 combat platoons, 2 of which are full squads and 3 squads each. And 1 is a 2 squad. I then have 2 platoons of assault guns, 3 each of Stuk H's. They come with tank escorts. And a heavy platoon, which has got 2 2CM guns with HMGs and a command. A total of eight platoons. Okay, so this is the assault sapper, uh, engineer sapper platoon uh, company from Red Bear Battalion. Sorry, uh, he's got two combat platoons of fifteen stands each, and then he's got anti tank, which are forty five mm guns. He has got three anti air guns, which are basically fifty cal's, and then he has got a transport platoon here, which are amphibious jeeps, cartouches. These IS uh, are actually KV-85s, and then we have uh, KV-8s, we have one platoon of Spetsnaz, his one IC, his two IC, and a Commissar. To buy six obstacles, all of which are barbed wire, but they look like minefields and tank obstacles, that's because we're proxying them. But he has got one, two, three, four, five, six. The mission is fighting with Joel, so I will be deploying on that side, attacking him, and we'll be back after deploy. Okay, so we're here after deployment, the Russian deployment. They are defenders. The Katushas are on the right flank behind a hill. These are KV-8, so they are flame tanks. The Spetnets are in the front. This uh, first combat platoon is there, over here, behind the uh, cornfields. He's also got an AMGs at the back there, which is a separate platoon. His 1IC has deployed with that platoon. He has got um, I, uh, KV-8s over here as well. 85, right? And then his second combat platoon is over here. His observer is in the church. This platoon also has a um, transport platoon. And he has got one last... Uh, anti-tank platoon in, reserve, in ambush. Okay, now for the German deployment, we have got one combat platoon with the 1IC. He is in the half-track. He's mounted. We have the Stuk Haters over here at the beginning of the deployment zone with one combat platoon behind. They are joined by Raymer. And then we have got the reluctant trained Nebelwerfers at the back here, all dug in in prepared positions. We have the second platoon of Stuk Hages, which are also here at the beginning of the corner. His uh, obstacles will be giving us quite a bit of trouble, but uh, against fully tracked vehicles, they just slow go. And over here is our last combat platoon. Attached to them is the 1IC in a 2CM half track. We have our observer, independent team over here, and a heavy platoon here. Already, uh, they are still mounted up, but I've taken the plane up here so that they can jump into the buildings once the game starts. Lastly, we have the 8 rads, which are awaiting to go over there and possibly take out the observer. And we'll back after turn 1, German movement. Okay, so for recce deployment, the Spetsnaz did not move. And on the left flank, the 8 rads have moved up from the hill over out there. We ignore independent teams for all intents and purposes for recce moves, so I will be able to eyes and ears the observer in the church tower on the first turn. And at the end of German turn 1 movement, I have moved my half-track heavy platoon up to this building. If I pass my stormtrooper and I'm in contact, I'll take over the building. My second combat platoon with my 2IC has moved up behind this building for some movement. More importantly, the Stooks have arranged themselves in a position where we can start to take some shots at the flame tanks because once the infantry make it over the obstacles, we're going to be in some trouble. And lastly, the two combat platoons are here. If they pass stormtroopers, they will then have to pass skill tests to get over. German turn 1 shooting 
the eight rats managed to remove uh, gone uh, eyes and ears and remove gone to ground. And then um, that was all we did because it took two of them to do it. So no shooting on the observer. And then over here, the Stooks took pot shots at the KV-88s, did nothing much. These Stook Hages did the same thing, did nothing much. With the front armor of 8, at long range, their armors are 9, only ones can cause me to bail. The Nebs and Reductant Train were the only ones who did any damage. Self-spotting from here, they got the Cartouches at the back and took one out, leaving them with only a 2-gun battery on their turn. We're now moving to Stormtrooper moves, and we'll be back after that. End of turn one assault phase for Germans. The eight rats failed their stormtrooper. The heavy platoon failed their stormtrooper. Combat platoon failed their stormtrooper. The Stokes passed and moved up a little bit. Uh, the Stokes over here managed to move over here with uh, Rima joining them, so they have passing their uh, stormtrooper moves on two plus. Over here, the infantry teams passed their stormtrooper and attempted to jump the barbed wire. Three teams failed and the others passed and passed sub subsequent skill checks to check the house and get in. This team failed altogether. And now we're moving to Russian turn 1 movement. Okay, for Russian turn 1 movement, the KV-8s moved all the way over here to start taking shots at the guys jumping the barbed wire. Platoon on the left flank, the combat platoon, managed to make it out of the woods and are rushing over to defend the right flank objective. And the KV-85s are moving down the building there, uh, down the road to uh, assault us on this side. And we're moving to turn one Russian shooting. We're here at the end of turn one Russian shooting. He has managed to wipe out one platoon and pin them down. These guys are pinned. And then uh, this Katusha here managed to range in from his observer and then fourth the bell tower up there and has managed to hit us over here he has he failed to pin because he didn't hit me at all but he did range in properly Okay, so we're here at German turn 2 after the end of movement. My infantry have dismounted and they passed their skill tests. They are making it all the way through across. Uh, four teams did fail, which was quite sad at 3 pluses. And the infantry team that has made it across has decided to take its chances against the KV-8s. Hopefully uh, we break in this turn because with the next turn coming, the um, the flames, the flamethrower tanks are going to wipe us out. The cages have decided to spread themselves out and possibly take the objective this turn. Over on the left side and center side, on the center side we have got the smaller combat platoon which dismounted into the ruin along with all his friends. It looks like the whole platoon can intercept the platoon which is crossing the board to that, that, that objective. The heavy platoon started in contact with the house and the HMGs are set up and are probably going to take out those salt sappers as they cross the board. The eight rats have stayed still and we are planning to take out the... we are planning to take out the observers. Turn 2, German shooting is over. Blue team has done nothing because we managed to smoke. We started off with the smoke from the nips. Uh, the red team is ready to go in, but they're not shooting at all. The Stooks, however, have moved up and killed one Spetsnaz shot with their breakthrough guns. And then further down the line, we have managed to pin the platoon that is trying to cross the table to this objective on the right flank. Uh, two HMG teams inside here, along with the two 2CMs and the, H the command half trap, has managed to kill just one stand but we've done enough hits to pin them. And now we're moving on to the vital assault on the KV-8s. At the end of the assault phase, defensive fire caused two hits, of which I saved both, and the Germans have managed to take out two KV-8s. Their flamethrowers were not useful in defensive fire. Uh, 
uh, with Raymer joining, they all rolled to hit on 2 plus, and with rare MGs with re rolls, they did a total of 3 hits, which bailed the center tank and destroyed the 2, causing them an auto route. And we look like we're quite close to the objective, and the Russians are now trying to speed down the roads to catch up. The 2 movement for Russians, he has sprung his ambush, which are 445mm guns. His tanks have moved round the barn and are now coming in to range in and hit my stook hedges. And in a desperate attempt to flee this crossfire alley of HMGs and 2CMs, the Russians have mounted up in transports and should be rushing down to save their last objective on the right flank. And we'll see how this plays out. Okay, so at uh, turn 2 Russians, the combat platoon that was previously in the woods have rushed all the way down here at a double after jumping into the transports. This is a very precarious position as my stook cages are staring straight down at them. These KV-85s have managed to take out one stook hitch. The Spetsnats have moved up and probably going to attack soon. And he has sprung his ambush of 45mm guns. And one stook has been taken out, and we'll see what else he's gonna do for the rest of the shooting phase. Okay, after turn two Russian shooting, under the cover of smoke, which we have removed for this, he has managed to pin down the red combat platoon and take out one stand. Uh, subsequently, he tried to assault and he failed due to tank terror. My Army Group B Divisional support caused him to lose his nerve. And now we are moving to turn 3 Germans. And we'll be back after movement phase. The Germans have made it past the line. They've broken the tanks, but can they hold? Spetsnats are ready and casualties are mounting. We'll have to see if Raymer and his men can hold out against the German onslaught and the ambushes before them. Turn 3 Germans, movement phase is over. The red team has decided to move out and provide a flank. The blue team has made it across, but uh, the half tracks are technically all still touching this base because with 4 inches slow going, they'll still be touching it. These blue teams have not moved, and the one I see is with them to begin to try and shoot. And then we have the Stug Hages, all have not moved. We're hoping to wipe out that uh, that uh, SMG squad that's coming down, the Warsaw Pioneers. Uh, this team here, with the help of Rima, should be able to join the assault and possibly wipe them off the objective this turn. And then on the center flank, we have got the HMGs over <laughs> here, which have gotten over here onto the building, and we should be pouring on quite a lot of decent fire onto them over here. We've got the grey team which has pushed over and above the buildings and the half tracks have managed to make it through this small gap to try and exploit. Uh, with that, the 8 rad should be trying to again, once again, to take out the observer and the church belfry. And uh, we're now moving to German turn 3 shooting. Okay, so we're here at turn 3 German shooting is over. We have managed to wipe out the anti-tank platoon and kill one of the spetsnats which have passed their platoon morale so they'll stick around. Um, we've done quite a lot of damage to the platoon that doubled all the way down here with 12 shots of stuck hages. Um, because they moved at a double, they doubled it from 6 to 12. Um, these shots over here from these stuck hages will break through guns and they took out the 280 guns and the HMGs which have come into this building here have actually managed to shoot down at this side. And that's all for turn 3 German shooting. We're now moving to the assault phase where hopefully we'll take this objective. Okay, so here at turn 
Three Germans, Assault Phase, we have managed to wipe out everything on this side of the table and we are in command of the objective. And uh, Russians are now unleashing all their platoons down from their transports. And um, did you manage to unpin already? Oh, here. One IC. One IC, reroll. Pass. Pass. Okay, so he's unleashing all of that. After all my stormtrooper moves, my stooks have moved up here. And uh, these have hidden behind the house. Um, we've got those guys over there which failed their... Uh, in the centre half of the table, they have failed their stormtroopers, so they are staying where they are. And the eight reds are still trying desperately to kill that observer. The Katusha has passed his last man standing test, has he? Okay. And now we're moving from their movement phase into their shooting phase. And we'll see what the assault sappers do now. Okay, we're well here after the turn three Russian shooting. He has managed to bail one stuk and killed one stand of infantry here in the red squad and he's just nice contesting this objective um, we also have his Maxim HMGs uh, his eight, sorry, AMGs have managed to fire into the building and hit my HMGs once but I passed the save and he has no firepower so now moving on to turn 4 Germans movement Okay, for movement phase, I have dug in my red platoon for turn 4 Germans. The half tracks have begun their advance up the side. I encounter this Katusha, finish it off. The blue teams have moved up. The Stooks have moved into their side arc of the KV 85s. And the rest of the teams on the table have not moved. And we're moving to turn 4 German shooting. Okay, so turn four German shooting. The Stooks fired five breakthrough gun shots into the assault pioneers who have since fell below half and failed their platoon morale check. They are not within six inches of the one I see in the center of the table, so they have fled. The two Stook hitches over here have shot straight in at the KV 85s and taken one of the guns out with a failed save. And the HMGs have managed, in the building, have managed to pin down the HMGs firing back at them from the Russian line. It looks like we are in control of the objective, but it is now the Russians' turn for one final attempt at dislodging me. And I believe he has to roll company morale check. So let's just get that. And that's the game. With that's the game.